Now that we've configured our React application to connect to our AppSync API, let's go ahead and query for data and render it to our screen. To do so, open source slash app.js. Here, we'll go ahead and import GQL from GraphQL tag, as well as GraphQL and Compose from React Apollo. Next, we'll define our query. The query that we're going to execute is list to dos, which will return an items array with an ID, a title, and a completed value for every item in the array. Next, we'll scroll down and update our default export. Instead of exporting the app component, we're going to export the compose higher order component, passing in app as the second function argument. For the first argument to compose, we're going to go ahead and pass in a GraphQL query of list to dos. The second argument to GraphQL will be an object containing an options object as well as a props object for any props we'd like to pass down to the component. For the options, we'll set a fetch policy of cache and network so that when the application loads, it will read first from the cache and then fetch data from the network. For the props, we'd like to pass down a prop of todos, which will be set as an empty array if props.data.list todos does not exist. If it does exist, we'll then pass down the props.data.listtodos.items array. Now in our render method, we'll have access to this.props.todos. We'll map over the items in the todos array, returning the item title for every item in the array. Now we should be able to test this out. Open your terminal and run npm start. If this is successful, you should see the to-do titles rendered to your screen.